Hi, I'm Bob Ange with CE Pro and Electronic House Magazine. Today we're going to look at Meridian's new Explora Digital to Analog Converter. This is a $299 product that connects onto the back of your computer and it facilitates high quality, high resolution sound from your computer. In this case we're going to be looking at how it connects to a Mac, an Apple computer, in this case an iMac, but the procedure is very similar with a PC once you download the appropriate driver. This is a compact product. It retails for $299 and incorporates many state-of-the-art digital audio technologies. After unpacking it, the first thing you're going to want to do is in this, you can't see, in that input right there, that mini USB, connect your USB dongle that Meridian sends with the unit. After connecting the dongle into the, um, the input of the Meridian DAC, simply plug it into your uh, USB port on the back of your computer. Next, in this case we are using a, an AudioQuest Victoria cable. Is uh, You want to take this input here on the uh, cable, which is a 3.5 millimeter cable or input, and uh, plug it into the output end of the uh, the Meridian DAC, which is right here. With the Explorer DAC plugged into the back of your computer and the uh, output cable connected to your speakers, in this case we are using now here this Superpower, and these are active loudspeakers. By active we mean that they have amplifiers built into them. And to turn on these uh, loudspeakers, all we're going to do is flip the, the power button on the back of the units. Next step will be to configure the iMac to output the highest possible audio format to allow us to benefit from the Meridian's processing as best we can. After you've physically connected the Meridian DAC and whatever speakers you're using to your computer, uh, in this case, again, uh, we are using a Mac, you go up to, uh, in this case, the Apple icon in the upper left-hand corner, select System Preferences. In this case, we're going to start here with the sound. We're going to select the Meridian Explorer DAC to output the, the audio. We're going to close System Preferences next. We're going to go into the computer, the Mac drive. And we are going to go into Utilities. I should say we're going to go into applications first, sorry. And then into utilities. And from there we're going to select the audio MIDI setup. Let's try this again. Even Macs don't cooperate sometimes. Select the MIDI and then I'm sure it's in Meridian. See that's going to be our output here and then over here in the Dropbox select your output resolution. Now that we know it's at 96 kilohertz we will get out of the uh, the application folder. To verify everything, we will go over to uh, iTunes. I've already opened it up, and so we don't get any copyright issues here. And play some of my own music. You can 
see on the Meridian DAC that we are outputting 96 kilohertz. The Meridian Explorer DAC can also be used with a quality set of headphones. In this case, we've got a pair of Bauer and Wilkins P3 headphones. And like the, the loudspeaker setup, where we took the input of the, uh, of the cable and plugged it into the, uh, the Meridian DAC on this end here, it's the same thing, only with a set of headphones. see we are now playing music through the headphones now and that's all there is to setting up Meridian's excellent Explorer USB DAC and other DAC, there are other DACs I should mention there are other DACs on the market that are very similar to this and they set up essentially the same way of course this setup varies slightly on a PC but with a few extra minutes on a PC the same thing can be done Another way that Meridian's Explorer USB DAC can be used is with a portable device like this Apple iPad 2. Um, to run it with an iPad 2, we've taken an Apple uh, adapter, a camera adapter kit, and we've plugged it into this Belkin powered USB hub, and we've run the mini USB into the other end of the Meridian DAC. As you can see here, the first indicator light is lit up, so we're listening to music in this case at my house from iCloud at um, 44 kilohertz. Normally Apple streams, uh, the, I, the iCloud is, streams at 256K so it, it's a considerable step up in sound quality and in this case I have the uh, B&W P3 headphones hooked up but we can listen to uh, anything here and uh, and we'll get sound. Again, we're getting that at 44 kilohertz. <laughs> 